Hello, today is Monday, May 18th, 2020. This is ELA mini lesson number 35. For the next two weeks, we're gonna be working on making predictions while we read fictional texts. Your learning target for today is I can make predictions about a text by pre-reading. What exactly is pre-reading? Let's look closer at the word and think about what it means. This part at the beginning of the word pre-reading is a prefix. So the prefix pre means before. Pre-reading activities are things that you do before you read a text that help you understand or get ready to read. I bet you do some different pre-reading activities that you didn't even realize were pre-reading. You look at the title and think about what it can tell you about the text. If it's an author that you've read before or are familiar with, you think about other stories that the author has written and what things the author might do in this text. If it's a series book, you might think about what you already know about the main character and use that to help you understand what the text is going to be about. You look at the cover, and think about what details you notice in the illustrations and what those might tell you about the text. These are all different activities that you can do before you read a text that help you make predictions about what it can be about. Starting this week, we're going to be working in part two of the packet that starts with Monday, May 18th. So grab your packet and open up to this page. It says book detective, graphic organizer. I'll read the directions for you. Book detective. A prediction is a smart guess. Look closely at your book's cover, including the title, artwork, and author. What do these clues tell you about the book's topic? Before reading, write what you predict the book is about. After reading, write what you know the book is about. Our book title today is Mother Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. We're going to look at the cover, think about the title, the artwork, and the author, and use those clues to make a prediction and record in this section of the graphic organizer. So let's go ahead and look at the book. So here is our book, Mother Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. Think about the title. If I look at the cover, it had Mother Goose, but Goose is crossed out and Bruce is written above. And if you look closely in the picture, you can see that one of the baby geese has a crayon and wrote Bruce. I see a bear named Bruce and I see four baby geese or goslings. Think about what it could be about. There's a bear name is Bruce, it says Mother Bruce, and there's baby geese. Make a prediction, what do you think this text will be about? Look at the setting revealed from the illustration. They're near a lake or a pond. Looks like they're sitting in a meadow and there's some trees in the background. Turn back to your graphic organizer. Record details about what you predict the book will be about. If you were to write, I predict this book is about a bear and baby geese, your prediction would be incomplete. What about the bear named Bruce and the baby geese? Try to come up with a detail about them. What do you think is going to happen with Bruce and the baby geese in the text? Pause the video while you finish recording your prediction. What do you think Mother Bruce will be about? Make sure you're writing in a complete sentence. Then hit play when you're ready to read the text. Mother Bruce, Ryan T. Higgins. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. 
he was a grump. He did not like sunny days. He did not like rain. He did not like cute little animals. Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard boiled goose eggs drizzled with honey salmon sauce. So he went out to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local businesses, you see. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. Are, those, are these eggs free range organic? At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling, but the fire in his stove fizzled, so he went out to get more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. Mama, mama, mama! Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. Bruce wanted hard boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast, but for some reason, he lost his appetite. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy. Only to find Mrs. Goose had flown south early. Note says, be back in April, Mother Goose. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. But he was followed. Mama, Mama. Bruce was very stern and said things like, go away. And I am not your mother. And also, I liked you better when you were eggs. Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. Rawr! Didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. Mama? Mama? Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. It was hard work. Blech. Ew. Yuck. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. Annoying baby geese, stubborn teenage geese, boring adult geese. Then, one fall afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of those geese and he could take a long winter nap. Bruce explained migration. But they didn't listen. Bruce needed the geese to leave. So he got creative. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave, Bruce. <sighs> so Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. They boarded a bus and migrated to Miami. Now, every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice cold lemonade while Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. Uh-oh. The turtle is saying, Mama, to the goose. That is the end. Now that we finished reading Mother Bruce, you can complete the bottom portion of the graphic organizer, where you're telling what you know this book is about because you've read it. In this section of the text, you're going to summarize Mother Bruce. You can use some of the summarizing strategies we've already learned, like somebody wanted but so. When you're finished with this activity, go ahead to the next page in your packet. First, you're going to read this text called What Will Sam Do? Then you're going to think about what he did next, and you'll complete this maze to show what you think happened. Your last assignment for today is your reading log. Happy reading. See you back tomorrow.